Testing, testing, one, two. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very exciting video as I put F1 2022 VR mode to the test using the HP Reverb G2. And as the title suggests, yes, I got a refund for it. I wanted a refund. The question is, why and also by the way i did play more than two hours almost three hours normally steam do not refund people who although they do say they do it on a case by case unless you've played with the game less than two hours and less than two weeks so today let's talk about this because this is a big big deal guys Honestly speaking, I am a F1 fan. I watch the F1 pretty much every weekend if I can, at least the repeats after that, if let's say the time is in a different time zone and I can't watch it, but I do follow the news. I do watch it quite a lot. And I was really, really excited to be able to play VR F1 2022 mod. But unfortunately, it just did not hit my expectations. And honestly speaking, you know, electronic arts are huge conglomerate company in the world of gaming you know they have so much experience decades of experience in this field and i was so disappointed that unfortunately they just did not meet what we need in terms of being immersed inside of virtual reality and there are also some other bugs which made me want to change it even though i wasn't going to play the vr mod i wanted to play the normal mod with especially for example my brothers who are also f1 fans and they live in a different country so i was really excited to play something with them as they have a console and i have the pc so this would have given us a really good time to spend together you know in the virtual gaming world unfortunately first of all let's talk about this now my gaming pc specs is an rtx 2070 and even though yes it's true it is a little bit dated in terms of graphics card it works perfectly fine let me repeat it works perfectly fine on every other game that i have on my machine using an i7 9700k intel uh cpu and also a hero maximus hero 11 motherboard and some nvme there you know it all works perfectly fine i have no issues whatsoever the only game that is kind of stretched to the limit is i would say aceta corta competizione which is known in the industry to be one of the toughest games to run super smoothly so in terms of the graphics the first thing when i was inside of the cockpit was that everything was super blurry we did many tests on a live show here on vr essentials and do hit the notification bell after you subscribe not to miss these live shows that we do from time to time we had put the super sampling at literally 50% on Steam VR, and then we cranked up all the settings to Ultra inside of F1 2022. And unfortunately, once inside of the cockpit, everything was very blurry, even with everything cranked up to the maximum inside of the actual game itself. It was very hard to read the actual letters and words on the banners, especially the logos, for example, DHL, which sounded more like, which looked more like DNL because we cannot see the details. The trees were quite blurry. The details of the grills were also not very sharp. A lot of issues there. It just really wasn't working. What can I tell you? So then we did another test where we went back inside of Steam VR Home, cranked up the super sampling back to 100%, and then went inside of the game again, and then stuttering occurred. It just really wasn't possible to move my head around without any jitteriness happening or stutter in the game whatsoever. And also, it was still actually quite hard to read. Well, not quite hard, but it was still blurry, the letters on the banners and all these kind of things as well. So we had cranked down the settings inside of the game to ultra low this time, the complete opposite, and the same thing was occurring. There was jitteriness there. The graphics just weren't smooth. What can I tell you? It just wasn't for me in terms of being inside of VR. Now, with the exact same settings inside of Automobilista 2, everything was absolutely super sweet. In fact, inside of Automobilista 2, I could crank up the graphics even higher without any issues of any kind 
whatsoever. It's just night and day the difference. If you are looking for a car VR Sims, um, you know, game, especially with the HP Reverb G2, then Automobilista 2 is definitely the one to get today. Although you won't get the F1, of course, it's not for F1 fans, but if it's for uh, car racing Sims fans, then it's definitely still today, I would say top dog. Now, the other issue that I had inside of F1 2022 VR mod is that, well, you know, what can I tell you? The anisotropic, anisotropic, anisotropic sorry, uh, super sampling just doesn't really make any difference whatsoever when I change it. In fact, when I'm changing the anisotropic details and the sharpening settings, well, the only one that works really is the one that's recommended by the game because the NVIDIA DLSS just creates a lot more stutter. All the other options create a lot more jitteriness when you're moving your head. In fact, in fact, if you wanted to remove all the jitteriness or most of the jitteriness from the game, you would have to go inside of mixed reality options and turn on motion smoothing on, motion reprojection on, because otherwise you will just have so many issues. But even with motion reprojection turned on, you're still gonna get a lot of issues, you're still gonna get a lot of stutter, a lot of jitteriness, and it's just, what can I tell you, just really not my cup of tea in terms of the game. Now, when going inside of MRTV's video, which was shot by one of his friends there, Marco, and he was using an RTX 3080, it seemed to me that the graphics were a little bit better. However, especially let's say in front of him, like if you look at the cockpit, the actual steering wheel doesn't look as blurry compared to the ones that was happening with me with the RTX 2070. However, I could definitely tell that in the distance from his recording, there was still quite some blurriness there it didn't look super sharp i have to admit so again i don't know please do leave a comment below if you have an rtx 3080 and you did purchase the game or an rtx 3090 even or 3060 do leave a comment below let us know your impressions because at the end of the day using the hp reverb g2 with the rtx 2070 it just wasn't working at all, so I needed to get a refund. Now, let's talk about non-VR mode. The other reason why I wanted to get a refund is because in multiplayer mode, which is something that to me is really important, is the fact that, well, it kept crashing, the game just kept crashing. Every time that I picked any option whatsoever inside a multiplayer with friends, and you know, the connection of the internet was perfect and sometimes i would you know connect with people who where there's a group there with maybe 10 players and another group with only two players it just kept crashing all the time the server just could not handle it what can i tell you that is also why i had to basically get rid of the game it's super expensive it's almost 100 us dollars to me it's like 69 singapore dollars which is about 60 us dollars it is very expensive it takes 13 or 20 gigabyte of space i just could not not give this game space inside of my computer. It had to go. However, it doesn't mean that in the future I won't purchase it again. Of course, that for sure I could definitely purchase it more and more without a doubt. So guys, there you have it. This is why at the end of the day, using the HP Reverb G2, I can't comment on other VR headsets and I did not want to test it with the Pico Neo 3 Link because I had already tested it for almost and three, almost uh, almost three hours, excuse me, and I wanted to make sure that Steam would provide me with the 60 US dollars refund because it's quite a lot of money. So I did not want to continue playing the game, but I will test it again later in the future uh, using the Pico Neo 3 link. Maybe I would say I'm going to give them a good, um, a good, maybe let's say four months, if not six months before I will purchase the game again or until I see better reviews on the internet from people like MRTV or of course other people who test it in the VR mode and who definitely say that there aren't any issues whatsoever anymore, especially with the multiplayer mode and also people who use perhaps a RTX 2070 or something along those lines because I'm personally not going to change my graphics card right now. The RTX 2070 is perfectly fine. It is middle grounded. It is not super high end, but it is certainly not the worst either. And so my setup, I would say is perfectly fine for VR, especially for the next, I would say good couple years. So 
you know, if you disagree with me, please leave a comment below. Love to hear your thoughts about that. You know, if really you think that the RTX 2070 should be binned right now, then leave a comment below. This is your opportunity to speak out and let us know, guys, what kind of PC, uh, PC setup or CPU or GPU setup you have in the comments below. If you're running this game and you don't have any issues whatsoever, we'd love to know so that the rest of the community, of course, can learn from your experience. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and transition over to the VR Essentials YouTube channel. And we're just going to go and say hello to some of you because it's been a little while. Uh, let me go to the uh, go to the dashboard. Here we go. And let me go and welcome some new people to the channel. Let's go to see recent subscribers. Go by date. Here we go. Let me just make it bigger for you guys. All right, I'd like to welcome Executee 3 Oh man, awesome to have you on the channel. Guys, if you like Laws Mobile and all that kind of stuff, go and check out her channel. She's really, really awesome. Welcome to VR, Executee 3 What can I tell you? Uh, Damien of Fury, uh, someone from uh, perhaps Japan, Burke Ozdemir, Matt is a knobbed, Killer Karma, Bill McConnell, D Fabrice 26, D Verton, Shaquille Ahmed, and Grace Yu. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the channel, guys. We're almost, almost at 11,500 subscribers, which is really, really amazing. What can I tell you? Absolutely amazing to be um, uh, almost there. It takes a lot to subscribe. To click that subscribe button, it just takes, yeah, it's just, so, yeah, it's like, uh, should I press it? Oh, I don't really, oh, it's just really hard to press the subscribe button. So I really, really appreciate uh, you guys subscribing to VR Essentials. Uh, I'd also like to uh, uh, mention some other people as well because it has been a little while. So let's uh, welcome also Anderson Pagani, Benoit1606, Anthony Lewis, Chris Tracy, Ali Obaidi, Christian Seguin, Andrew Lee, Wolf, Anna Dukuni, and Adria Lee Prevost as well, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the channel. You guys are super, super, super awesome. What can I tell you? It's lovely to have you here. All right, guys, and also thank you to all those I haven't mentioned today and those who have their settings on private because obviously I can't see your name when you join. So guys, thank you very much again. I hope this video helped you. At the end of the day, there you go. Sorry to those who have a Pico Neo 3 link. I'm not gonna be able to test F1 2022 VR for you as I did request for a refund. All right, until next time, guys, take it easy. I will see you in another video very soon. Bye, guys.